Hi everyone, it's great to be here. It's been a really great experience being here. Um, so my life before Balance View was pretty good, conventionally pretty good. Um, I'd have ups and downs, but in general I thought things were pretty good. Um, and I reified so much, I was very extreme though, now I realize. Um, so, you know, following philosophies, a lot of self-help books, um, a little bit on the spiritual side, but more on the practical side, business, investing, those sort of things, um, getting the most out of myself just really was, uh, you know, re read a lot of self-help and, um, and I definitely got benefits out of it and still do. Um, but it, again, it just didn't lead to the ultimate relief that I was, that I was searching for, but sort of didn't know that I was searching for, but, um, so yeah, and I would force my opinions on people a lot. Um, I was pretty aggressive in conversation and just forcing my opinion on people, whether they wanted it or not. And um, I was never really successful at it, but I kept doing it, which was pretty, pretty insane. And yeah, over the last two years, it's been two years now, and it's been just wonderful to be in this community. and. So what are the ben like the practical benefits of uh, that I've received? Um, I guess I'm just a lot less aggressive without trying to be less aggressive, um, and still high energy, intense, um, but not just just allowing everyone to be as they are, and especially allowing myself to be as I am. And um, so yeah, I just don't need to convince people of of my point of view anymore, and uh, that's really saves me so much energy and saves them a lot of, you know, uh, so they don't want it, they don't want to hear it anyway. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, so it just saves, saves everyone. It's just beneficial. Um, but when they do ask, I'm so gracious and just happy that they ask and I'm more than happy to talk about the things that, you know, that I think that I know. Um, so, that was one, that's one really great thing, just the ease of conversation. Um, another one would be with my, a very specific one would be like with my son, I had a, a view, uh, an expectation of what my relationship should be like with my son. And um, yeah, from however that was formed and um, it wasn't happening that way. And you know, I, you know, I felt like there should be a euphoric feeling when I have my son and I didn't have that. I felt there should be a close bond and I didn't have it all the time. I had it sometimes, but not all the time. And um, yeah, I thought there was something wrong and I'd really try and force the issue. You know, I'd come home and I'd try and force to play with him to get the bond happening and he just didn't want a bar of it. He could sense that it was contrived and he would <laughs> run away. And um, But now I really just, you know, go with the flow of things and I rely on open intelligence and realize that it's not beneficial to force that. And now, you know, he comes up to me and he, he wants to play and, you know, that's just of his volition. He comes up to me and that's the time. If it's the right time, I say, sure, let's play. And then that's how I build the bond. And it's like a lot less time being put into it, but the bond is growing. So, um, yeah, that's really been awesome. And, um, and with my daughter, I guess I never had that because I've really been relying on open intelligence and just letting that flow. And that's been really nice. Um, so another practical example is uh, I'm a businessman. I've, I own a few businesses and I was doing a project fitting out an office and uh, I chose the wrong builder. Um, and once you choose a builder, you're just stuck and you can't get out of it. And uh, it was really frustrating. I liked to have the control and I was just really angry a lot of afflictive data about it and like try, but I always try and think of solutions and um, and one day I went to meet him to talk about the issues and I was like looking at him he was telling me his point of view and I was just like looking at him and I was just like I love you and like <laughs> and uh, I didn't I didn't say that I was thinking that and um, it was just like, he's open intelligence too, and he's just reifying his data, and it's just okay. And, um, and I was raging at the same time, raging. You know, we're talking, yeah, it was just so frustrating. 
And in the end, the solution was to rely on open intelligence, realise that he really wasn't going to budge, but I needed him on side so he could finish the, the project on time and to a decent quality. Otherwise, if I pushed and pushed and pushed, he just wouldn't have done any of that and we, it would have been even longer time and just a lot more detriment. So um, we ended up getting it done on time and it ended up really being really good and I paid the money and it was fine. Like It just ended up being really good. So that was just a really practical benefit of it in my business life. Um, yeah, and with my wife, things are wonderful. Um, she didn't want, this is another great thing, she didn't want to be involved. Um, and I really rested with all my data around that. And, for, and it took me about six months to just be really comfortable with all my data around her not coming. And then as just I was like purely comfortable, she was like, I think I want to come. <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, you don't have to come. You know, like, it's all right. You know, you sure? I was like, you sure? You don't have to. Um, so that was really great. Um, so she obviously saw the, the changes in me and she, yeah, so that was just wonderful. Um, yeah, there's so many changes, as most of you know, and it's just deepening and deepening and deepening. And um, yeah, life's grand. Thank you. <laughs>